Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Cast. I am here with Doug Levy as a part of the Inspire Photo Retreats series of interviews that I'm I'm, take, I'm doing right now with speakers, presenters at the next Inspire Photo Retreats. Doug's been at Inspire three or four times now. Um, he's a veteran speaker, presenter, and a fantastic photographer. Um, I respect him. In fact, I've I've actually gone to his workshop uh, when he had one back. What two three years ago? I That's think two years ago. Yeah. Must yeah. Have been 2011, uh, maybe. 2011. So if, what was three years ago? Three years ago. Uh, Doug's a great guy. You know, um, he comes from a from a very interesting background. We're going to talk a little bit about that. But Doug, I wanted to get you start in, the show. Thanks in for joining. Photography. Me. Now, clearly, you are doing weddings, commercial, editorial. You seem to know how to do them all. What inspired yeah. you to get into photography? What did? What? How did you get your start? So the, the, the short version of the story is I was umpiring minor league baseball and we went on strike because minor league umpires make no money. <laughs> it was, I mean, horrendously no money. And I started saving money to pay for our, my health insurance because baseball said, we're, we're going to cut you off. Right. And three days before I would have had a FedEx this check to the health insurance company, the strike was settled and I had $1,100 sitting in the bank. And instead of doing something smart, well, now it looks smart, but at the time, you know, I'd never owned a camera. So instead of doing something smart with the money, I, I spent it all on a, a Nikon D70S. And that summer I was umpiring in Florida, so I would get up and shoot Sunrise and uh, all over the state. And then my off-season job had been writing for a local newspaper, so I started begging them to let me shoot pictures. And they, no, no, no. So finally they said, there's this guy, he's, he's been mall Santa for like 30 years and he's retiring. Go write the story and do the interview and sure, take a picture. And I think they thought... We know we'll get a story out of it. If we run a picture, it's a bonus. If he gets nothing, it's right. not the end of the world. And I shot this horrible picture of Mall Santa that I thought was amazing. I thought it was like the greatest portrait ever of this guy. And I mean, it was terrible. But they ran it and they paid me for it. And then from there, they started hiring me to shoot a lot of high school sports. So I would do a lot of high school basketball and wrestling and hockey and, and all kinds of stuff. And, you know, if they were paying, I was going. All with the D70S? Uh, with the, eventually, it was the D70S and then it became the D200. Okay. But uh, yeah, mo most of that stuff was D200 by that point. But, um, and then I would shoot you know, all over. And they only paid you if they ran it. And if they ran two pictures, you got an extra 25 bucks. And so you had this pressure where if you didn't get the picture, you, 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 know, you were out a whole night of working and you got nothing. And so, and I still see that carryover today because I have a thing where all my pictures, especially my wedding pictures, they, they can't be tilted even like one degree. And because my editor used to say, he's not skating uphill. He's not running up downhill on the basketball court. I can't run this. Mm. So that's sort of the carryover that I still apply. You know, I'm still straightening wedding pictures to like the very, you know, all the lines have to be perfect. And that's, that's sort of the, the one takeaway from that still, you know, seven, eight years later. Um, but from there, then in 2009, I took a bat to the face and decided maybe oh. I don't want to, yeah, um, maybe I don't want to umpire anymore. Oh. Oh. And that was, my, that was my first year dating my wife. And we had one of those phone calls from the, from the ER, like, I'm okay, but, you know, my face is broken. Um, oh, my and then, God. Yeah, it, was, it could have been a lot worse, but I fractured my cheek, and I was home, and I, uh, I second shot some weddings, and I, I you know, did a little more. I had never been home in the summer in years, and I did some photography and, and assisted some friends. And by the end of that season, I, I went back for the last month and decided, you know, I, I'm done with baseball. Um, I'm done with traveling 220-plus days a year, and I want to shoot. And... I had some friends that were kind enough to hire me to assist them at weddings and I was still shooting for the newspaper and I was still living with my parents and so I had no rent and um, which was helpful. Uh, and then, you know, very shortly within seven or eight months, um, you know, photography was, was paying the bills. Excellent. You are set to present again at Inspire Photo Retreats and um, I'm curious to know what it is about that you're going to be presenting and what can one expect? So it's, it's exciting because all the classes I've done in the past have been pure presentation lecture style with some demos, you know, PowerPoint and, and me and one model, me and demonstrating. And this year we're going to go full day, which I've never done before. Uh, I think it's going to run about eight hours. And it's going to be uh, me presenting in the morning with demos, shooting tethered uh, with all kinds of different modifiers. And in the afternoon, the students are going to get an assignment to go shoot. And then everyone's going to have to present one photo and talk about the troubles they had and the success they had and what they were going for, and we'll, we'll do a group critique in the afternoon. Uh, the class is geared around getting away from speed lights and using big lights and big modifiers. 
uh, octoboxes and, and beauty dishes and scrims, and things that you might not use at a wedding, but things that I use on my, on my corporate and my editorial jobs you know, almost all the time. So this is a very hands-on type of workshop. Absolutely. Almost. The afternoon especially is going to be very hands-on. Um, it's, it's a takeaway. I went to the uh, Texas Photo Roundup in February in Austin, which was, best, I guess, best described as inspire for editorial photographers. Okay. Uh, and it was great. And I was, I was sort of the, the rookie in the class. Everyone else shot exclusively. I was the only wedding photographer. Everyone else shot exclusively for national magazines and art directors and ad agencies. And it was a two day class that I took. And every day we, they got us models the first day, but then we had two assignments where we had to go out and find people that were interesting and make interesting pictures. Fantastic. Wow. And it was really challenging, but it was, it was, you know, it was a great class and I got a lot out of it. And we're going to take a, a little bit of that and apply it here and, and sort of push people in that direction. Um, but we're going to add strobes as well. The, the, the push in Texas was, you know, find the character, find the light, find the picture. And we're going to take that and we're going to add it and, and do all that. But as well, you know, you, you have to light it. Excellent. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for coming in and talking to us a little bit about your presentation that inspire and what one can expect. Um, having, sat through your presentations in the past and having gone through your workshop, I know anybody who is going to spend even half an hour with you is going to come away with amazing, amazing knowledge. I mean, I'm not just, just saying that. Um, you run a very popular Facebook group for your workshop attendees as well, and, and you post examples of your own work, and you teach, continue to teach beyond the workshop, which is amazing. And it's always a, you know, something that I've looked to whenever I turn Facebook on. Um, I've always se seen you uh, present a, a, a photograph and say, hey, how did I light it? Can you guys take a wild guess at it? And it's interesting to see all the things that people come up with. And, of course, you know, you know what the answer is because you shot it. So. That's interesting. We have, we're up to, I just checked, we're up to 105 people in the, in the group. Lovely. Who are all alumni of my various workshops. We've done some larger ones, and I, I do now a, a smaller one-on-one -on -one and, and three-in-one uh, revolving workshop that, okay. you know, when, whenever people are available, people email me, I do small classes because I had done a bunch of the big, bigger classes, which you took part in. Mm -hmm. And I found there was always somebody, you could be talking about something advanced or something basic. And there's always somebody going, this is boring. I get it. And the same thing is person sitting next to them is like, this is amazing. I didn't know this. Yeah, right, right. And now I send them a questionnaire and we can skip the stuff they already understand. Right. And it's completely custom based on their experience and based on their questions. Some people want to do like we've done entire sessions about lighting barn receptions or about lighting headshots. And it's really geared around whatever the individual's business is and whatever the individual's goals are and, and experiences. Um, and that's what the Facebook group builds on that where I've been, you know, I'll do a lot of shoots, wedding shoots, editorial jobs and post. And I try and remember to take behind the scenes pictures for the answers. And then we'll get a conversation going about, you know, what the, what the motivations were behind why the light was put where it was. And we're going to sort of bleed that over into this workshop where it's going to be big lights and big modifiers and things that you can't do with small, with small strobes. Um, I did a shoot. The most recent How'd You Light That in the group is we shot at 1130 last week on a tarmac at an airport. You know, you, you, we had 4,000 watts of light. You can't do that with speed lights. Right. Um, so we're going to sort of dig into that kind of stuff a little deeper in the workshop as well. Excellent. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I will be there uh, in February when you teach your workshop slash presentation at Inspire Photo Retreats. So thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. It should be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm.